Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Subnautica. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and at the end of the last episode, I basically said, uh, I'm going to go and get a drink, and then we're going to be setting off for an adventure in this episode. And that is true. We are absolutely going to do that. However, we seem to be having a power problem at the main base, and that signifies to me one thing. We need solar panels, and we need solar panels now, because... Uh, if you look at our power, our power isn't uh, isn't steadily increasing. Uh, overnight, it is actually just running out. So let's get some solar panels set up because, let's face it, we need to make sure that the base is powered because we want to come home to some water. You know, we don't want to we don't want to just you know not have any water at all to drink like we've currently got, uh, and we're you know we don't have the ability to fabricate things. That's just not fun. Uh, also, I went and got an air sac out of the um, out of the aquarium. I'm starting to think that the fish aren't actually spawning because um, because they're just not getting enough space. So that's something that we need to to bear in mind. It's not a it's not a massive problem right now because we can just you know kill off some species from the from the from the pool if we wanted to. I'll wait a little bit before uh, before eating that, and we'll go and check out the uh, the process over here. All right, you're 97% filtering out the water. We did get one bit of salt, which I like took out of here. It's not very, not very interesting. 98% water. That's what we're all about. We really are all about that. Can we upgrade anything? Ultra glide fins. I really would like that. Silicon rubber. That would be really, really cool. I mean, it's not a priority. Oh man. Oh man, look at that. Oh, that is, that is astounding. That is astounding. And we get big filtered water. Oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely amazing. Let's left click. Let's just drink that bad boy. Oh, man, that is, that is astounding. And all we need to do is make sure that that is constantly powered and then we'll be fine. Okay, we've had our drink. We've had our meal. Let's go, let's go hunting for the survivors of this wreck. We know that we need to go 75 whatever's that way. Uh, actually, shit, before we go, uh, the the zone should be clear of radiation now, which is actually something that we could pay a visit to. We can uh, we can go and pass the Aurora wreck and see what's going on. Uh, but I'll take my radiation gear just in case. I think I've got everything I need apart from the, uh, the helmet. Is that true? We've got the rebreather on at the moment, and we've got the radiation helmet on us, actually. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, so we've never really been in a better position to go and investigate what is going on. Still need to find bits of uh, bits of blueprint for the moon pool, which is apparently like really, really important for everything. Uh, making sure that the Seamoth is getting upgraded and perhaps the Cyclops as well, who knows. But yeah, for now, we're just going to be heading south. Heading south by 750 meters, which in in game terms is, is nothing. But we need to get onto the other side of the Aurora. And, you know, this thing doesn't drive at a million miles an hour, but it doesn't exactly drive slowly either, so... We're going to be heading down there, and uh, we'll see what we can find. South of the wreckage. I don't know if this is going to be unexplored territory. I, I do not know at all. We'll stick near the top, in case something, something crazy happens, or if there, you know, it's a massive drop-off or whatever, but... I do actually feel really, really confident um, just traveling around in this thing, and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. But you know what? Let's let's head over to the wreck for a little bit because it's been a while since we were over there, and theoretically, theoretically, it said that the radiation was going to dissipate in in about three days, and we did do all of that uh, that fixing to the. Well, I don't know what we really fixed, but it was like the the reactor. I think we fixed the reactor. So, yeah, we can quite rightfully go and check out exactly what we want to check out. And you know what we can what we can do is we can park our park our big ass cyclops over here, pointing in the south direction. Yeah, we'll just point it here. We can uncaptain this bad boy and we can head on over head on over into the sea moth and conduct a little expedition. Da, 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 da. Thank you, thank you very much. 
So the Aurora Wreck should be basically east. Yeah, we can see it just uh, just there. We don't really need to conserve energy too too much. Like we're not we're not really worried about uh, running out of power now. That is something that we're guaranteed. Well, we're almost guaranteed not to do. The wreck should be somewhere in the distance over here. It should be should be somewhere. Ah yes, here we are. Here we are. We found it. This is the back end of it. So we don't need to be going in the back end of it. We need to be going in the oh oh shit I didn't realize there was a uh, your type around here apparently we can't go in there there's an invisible wall that's fine I'm okay with that honestly I'm scared bloody shitless by those big bad boys they really are very very scary where's home home is over this side so we are still on the right side that's good that's really good Couple of enemies. Not gonna be too worried by them. We are kinda hitting a lot of stupid stuff, but in all honesty, I'll 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 take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now can we get inside? Or has that been blocked up? Maybe it's been blocked up actually. Maybe we can no longer get inside. It certainly seems to be a lot more restrictive. Nope, no, it seems that we can uh, it seems that we can get inside. I'm just misremembering it all. Grand. Okay. Well, let's go. Now, if I can recall, we can't actually take the Seamoth in here. We can pretty much just leave it outside. Honestly, though, I'm even less worried about getting stuck in here because we've got, like, an hour of oxygen. I mean, that is obviously an exaggeration, but pretty much an hour of oxygen to do whatever the heck we want. This area still looks pretty radiated to me, I'll be honest. Like, there was something that was supposed to be happening in three days or something? Who knows? Nobody has any idea what's going on. That's okay, though. We fixed the reactors. We did fix the reactors. Can we go up here now? Is there anything up here? I feel that this has got something to do with something. Like, maybe it's got something to do with the story? Because we've never really had any use for this area up here. Now, there could be something on the console down in the main room that I'm just completely missing. I'm just skipping over by coming up here. Could be. It could be. But honestly, I have no idea what's, uh, what is supposed to be up here. Because we just find these annoying fucking crabs. Can I scan these crabs, actually? Cave crawler. Stupid fucking things. Come on. Did I finish scanning you? Apparently I finished scanning you. Alright. I've, I've I've had enough of being beaten beaten up by you guys. Yeah, understandably this area is still pretty volatile. Still pretty dangerous, I guess. But not radiation dangerous, because we fixed that. Because apparently all you need to do to fix the radiation is to is to seal up the reactor. Unbelievably. And it's like all the radiation disappears, which is kind of amazing, because I'm pretty sure that that doesn't happen in real life. Just guessing. Just guessing. Uh, but there is a central console over here that we can uh, fiddle with. See if something happens. No signal. Oh, picked up power efficiency upgrade module. Sweet. So one of those things on the other side? Certainly worth a worth a shot, I guess. Which is kinda nice. So I guess it uh it wasn't totally not fuck. I guess it to it wasn't uh wasn't totally a stupid thing to come to come in here looking for something. I mean we found something. It just wasn't uh wasn't really what we were looking for. We were looking something to... No signal check data cable. Is there... Ah, oh, there's no back to that thing. Yeah, I don't think there is a data cable around. Well, you know what? We, we, we tried. We tried. And if there is something that I'm missing here, you know, let me know in the comments and I will come and revisit it. But for now, I'm just gonna 
head back to the Seamoth. Head back to wherever the heck it is that we were going. Oh, it was 700 meters. 750 meters south of the crash site. Yeah, so we need to rejoin. Rejoin with Mr. Cyclops over there. And we can actually stick a power efficiency module in him. So that is honestly a great time for us to discover that because I really do not want to be building any power cells at all because we left I don't I don't want to say we left all our batteries at home but I think we left most of them at home did I did I open this bad boy oh <gasps> it's exactly what we need disinfected water oh man you couldn't have you couldn't have asked for a better day if you tried amazing absolutely amazing I don't think we've looked at this one either Oh man, another signal. Sweet. Well, what is this? Land mass detected. That's kind of cool. We'll uh, we'll keep this signal active because this is something that is uh, that is worth noting. Uh, now, is there anything in there? Doesn't look like there's anything. Whoa! Ouch! Doesn't look like there's anything actually in there. There's something over here though. I know, I know. I shouldn't be doing this. We've got we've got much more important things to be doing, but look, we've picked up another signal for goodness sake. What is this? Coordinates, landmass detected. Are they both in the same place? I think they're both the same place. Well, we'll just keep it active for now. Is this another thing over here that I missed? Did I just miss a whole bunch of supply crates? Is that is that the case? Oh, man. Another battery. Great. That's actually really what we need. Because if we end up having to build any power cells to power our uh, big bad cyclops, then I will take all of the batteries that we can that we can get. Any that I don't have to make, I consider a great success. But that's good. We seem to be pretty darn successful in our finding of resources, considering we've already looked for resources. Can we actually get through here? In fact, we can we can use the welder here. Uh, not the welder, the, uh, the laser cutter. Should we try that? What can we actually, or maybe we can't. What can we actually use the laser cutter for? Must be it must be something. Must be something. Nighttime approaches. I, I honestly don't I don't mind. Nighttime approaches or not. Must be able to laser cut into this thing. Surely. Ah, who cares? Honestly, I'm not in the business of caring right now. All I'm in the business of caring about is making sure that we head back to the Cyclops. And then we head south to the arranged meetup point, the rendezvous point of the survivors of the crash site. Theoretically. I'm hearing the... Is it the Leviathan? I honestly don't know, but it spooks me the shit out. Do I get spooked easily? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, man. It's good. Oh! Shit. I need to stop crashing this bloody thing. Yeah, so as you can see, our power is going down. Let's stick in the power efficiency module, just quickly. And boom. Power efficiency is now at 400%, so I guess we're just going to lose power less quickly. I'll take a medical kit. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go south. And perhaps we should stay at the top. In fact, that landmass that has been detected, that may well be the landmass that we are that we are looking for. You know what? I'm quite content to to ride out the uh, ride out the top. I don't know if we've got lights on this bad boy, but I imagine that we probably do. Oh, oh shit. Fuck me. 
Those guys, that he scared the shit out of me. He scared the shit out of me. I I don't want to be scared shitless, friends. I ain't seen no limas either. Let me just step back for two seconds. Oh, that's fucking spooky. Log. Computers identified dry land. Yeah, okay. Land mass has been detected over there. Is that land mass that I can see in the distance, or is that just like clouds or whatever? I don't know. What is even beneath us? I don't even want to think about what's beneath us. Whoa, this thing can this thing can really get the jump on. Fucking hell. Well, we've headed south for a decently long period of time. Let's just get out of here for a second. Let's go down this way. Oh shit, it's super fucking dark. We can't even see the wreck, can we? Oh god, we haven't even we haven't gone we haven't gone anywhere. We haven't gone anywhere at all. We need to keep on chugging. We need to go further. We need to go much further. I was thinking, oh, we're gonna be great. It's fine. Apparently not. We just need to we need to keep on going. Why why do I hear him breathing every time we surface? That makes uh, that makes no sense. See, I don't want to go underneath the water because otherwise uh, we're not going to see this landmass, and I'm going to get scared shitless if I see something big and spooky because I'm a big baby. But you know, hey ho, I, I you know being under the water is perhaps a little bit more interesting. You know, we might be able to see the bottom of the bottom of the ocean. But I don't think we I don't think we will though. I don't think we will. But I'm glad that we picked up the power efficiency module. That's really, really good. I don't know if it's going to make a noticeable difference, but I feel that it it must, right? It must. If it doesn't, then what's the bloody point? And I'm so glad that we're doing this journey in the uh, in the Cyclops. Like that is super, super cool. That is really, really awesome. Maybe we should uh, maybe we should try like a, a dive. See see how deep we can go. Well, obviously we can only go to 400 meters. Or whatever, but maybe we should try it. Maybe we should try it. I can't even see the bottom of the ocean at this point. It's it's super deep. It really is. We seem to be getting there. And that's that's the whole point. It's not fast, is it? It really isn't. It's not a seamoth sort of speed, but it's not inconsiderable. At least the weather's a little bit nicer. Still see absolutely nothing, though. No, nope. no land as of yet, which is kind of a little bit unbelievable. Oh God, really? Uh, let me step away from the console for just a second. Let me eat a little bit of this. Minus 18 old cooked Reginald. Oh, shit. I can't drop it now. I'll eat some uh, some boomerang then, shall I? There we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's continue onwards. Let's continue onwards. We're on the pursuit of land. We're in the, in the pursuit of land. 750 meters. Like, that does not seem like a long way. But at the same time... We seem to have uh, we seem to have gone a long way. I mean, we can hear that landmass pinging, and that could be it, I suppose, but I doubt it. Where's the where's the crash site? Crash site is well over there. 
Probably not 750 meters, though. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to just abandon the uh, this ship, right? Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build another one of it, right? So we're gonna continue until something we see something. There must be something. I just don't know how far away it's actually gonna be, and I also don't know. Well, if we should drive this thing back, well, obviously we are gonna drive this thing back, but it's good to it's good to have it, right? I think that it's it's good to explore with it, and I think it's good to bring it along. Uh, you know, just for testing. Let's dive. You know what? Let's dive. Let's fucking dive. Let's see what's down at the bottom here. I have no idea what to expect. I'm, I'm going to be going down into, well, probably real shit, to be honest. Caution. Passing safe depth. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, shit, on the, uh... Does it damage the... The Seamoth? I don't think it is going to damage the Seamoth. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. It's 400 meters. It's now the crush depth or whatever. No, we still can't see anything. Still can see absolutely nothing. Yeah, so whatever's here must be seriously fucking deep. Like seriously deep. Which is uh which is not fun. But we're still looking for this bloody piece of land. Like still nothing. Maybe the computer was wrong? About the land? Maybe it's having a giggle? Might be having a giggle. Can we see this land? I see no bloody land. I really, I really don't. I really, really don't. We're south of the wreck. We're pretty much as south as south will go. Am I doing something dramatically wrong? We've gone more than 750 meters now, haven't we? Now let's turn around. Let's turn this bad boy around. Where is this landmass being detected? 2,000 meters in that direction. Let's give that a shot. Let's give that a shot. I guess. My god. Is that Uranium Island? I don't think that's Uranium Island. We we sure as heck can't see the Aurora from here, can we? No, we can't. We'd see Aurora pretty much directly over that way if we could still see it. Fucking hell. I mean, we don't exactly travel fast, but we don't exactly... Oh, we can just see the Aurora clipping into existence over there. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh, look, there it is. Just in the corner of your right. You can see it. A little smidgen of it. Yep, it's over there. It is over there. But it's clearly just too far away for us or whatever. Too far away for us to see. That's fine. I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, honestly, ladies and gents, I'm probably going to finish up this episode here. Uh, and we will we will talk about exactly what happens when I reach the, uh, the landmass. So... Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Robert Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.